Um, Russian fashion loves um... oh no I it, that's why I don't like this platform like definitely don't want to log in so Lina is an old friend of mine from a very long time ago we grew in the fashion world together now she's this huge stylist star celebrity and um look how cute this being but why everyone has these lips like i really don't get the lips trend still i thought it's like way um kind of like old life like who needs these lips Yeah, I think fashion world is way overrated. I think uh, we should stop thinking that it's a good idea to take it so seriously. Like, I understand that being a pretty little industry with cute, you know, women, mostly. But um, I don't think it's super healthy, generally. Like, if we can recreate industry uh, to be healthier, that would be such joy. This is Lena's uh, brand. So cute. Двойная майка. Почему двойная? I like sparkly things. But yeah, I think uh, fashion became very unexciting and kind of dead at this point. Um, And I don't think that people who are interested in fashion are really intelligent people. I mean, I don't think that people who are not interested in fashion at all um, are super intelligent either. I think there's balance that needs to be set. Do I want to work in this industry? Do I want decentralized fashion to be a thing? Maybe. And decentralized fashion being that we are uh, renewing existing items uh, that are dead stock and helping the industry deal with a problem of um, bad design that can be improved and not created um, new you know do you think it's a good design i don't think so it's very easy to tell what's good design and what's not to be honest you try it on and if it fits and if it looks great on you yep if it's kind of iffy it's probably bad design Okay, now. 
Софюшка, еще раз. Плиз. Рендал. No, it's not working. Okay. videographer too. Cute kid. She's super talented. <laughs> Good. Very nice. Good work. But your website really is not great. Okay, then now we're gonna go into some brands curated by some magazines. Very nice. Very nice skirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love the jeans. Don't love the ruffled uh, things. I'm not used to, but not anymore. Not really. Nice, very cute. Also very nice, this dress. Very excited. Super, super nice. Yeah, this whole look. Very cute. Very good. Like, this is... I would shop it. 
and then uh, renew it. Yes, this tops price too. Okay, let's look at Paulina because a vast majority it would be a question of internal health, and it is about gut and intestinal health, is also about nervous system health, brain health, and everything like that based on the amount of sleep that you're getting. Um, the kind of chemicals that you're producing uh, based on also what kind of things you're ingesting and also including substances and things like that. And we need to be light as a feather to be able to go on the journey. So sometimes um, during this kind of time, we need to be very light, very light in thought, very light in feeling, very amazing, very amazed by the world. We have to be very angelic and very brilliant people. We have to be very, very wise and smart and curious um, to be able to fit um, certain roles. Um, there are some very, very special places given to some people in other people's hearts sometimes during this time. Or there are some very, very special uh, energies that are working with us. Um, but we cannot control a lot of this. So it's also very wise for Virgo to remember that. Virgo as a sign sometimes keeps on controlling things in order to get them correct. But if you know that it is all just about sometimes uh, mystery, sometimes it's about magic. Sometimes it's just about what happens. It's a randomizing sequence or it's a curious coincidence um, that keeps on giving you freshness in a world to live and uh, dislodges any kind of harshness dislodges any kind of drama, dislodges any kind of long-term thinking patterns, any seeking, any obsession, any long-term observation. I love Paulina. Uh, 